Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm reviewing the Orbea Gain M30 road electric bike. Uh, so yeah, today reviewing its performance, what I feel like its comfort is, maneuverability, motor response and yeah, just taking it for a spin and seeing my subjective opinion of this electric bike and uh, I want to acknowledge Ivanhoe Cycles that allowed me to use this electric bike for review today. So uh, I want to test out the weight of the bike. Let's lift it. Twelve point eight, almost thirteen kilograms. This is basically the weight of the bike as it is. I honestly like how nicely it rides. Like the gear system is very smooth. Right now I have the second level of assistance in use and uh, it's very effortless to ride it in terms of uh, comfortability uh, it feels very nice i don't feel uh, like the heat from the uh, pavement and uh, even though the tires are fully inflated too and uh, yeah still super comfortable uh, maneuverability is very smooth now going downhill gonna test out the brakes I don't want to go too fast though yeah I love the uh, the stability of the of the frame and uh, yeah just going uphill pedaling like a standard bike and uh, it's super easy to pedal super comfortable now pillows is one I can definitely tell there is a slide assistance provided by it now two wow okay yeah definitely a big difference between the assistance one and two and three quickly wow okay <laughs> now I feel like I need to uh, actually do uh, changing gears because the bike is already asking for it it's giving me the power that I need again maneuverability is very responsive I don't feel like there is any issues whatsoever with the responsiveness now going a very steep incline using the most powerful or level pedal assist level 3 and wow okay thanks to the motor <laughs> I'm able to do this thing this climb without having to stand on the bike just sitting pedaling and the 250 watts 
e-bike motion rear hub motor is doing basically a beautiful job gearing system changes again super smooth I don't feel like there is any inconvenience when I'm pedaling and then doing the shifting some motors suffer because of that yeah I love the comfort actually body position easiness to reach the uh, cockpit the two different settings of course yeah I'm braking uh, with uh, one figure level in terms of the controlling system part of things well this uh, part here is going to allow you to install a phone smartphone so you can use it as a display for controlling your uh, bike performance and uh, pedal assist levels but yeah this is well beautifully designed so uh, you feel like you're riding a very elegant road bike in terms of seeing the pedal assist selection that I'm using currently this is a sunny day and I have no issues to see the colors so right now it's white which means there is no pedal assist whatsoever green means pedal assist one orange pedal assist two and purple pedal assist three which is the highest and again you press it and cancels out going back into no assistance that was excellent I didn't fe feel any assistance when I was definitely going more than 25 k's and once I hit the 25 mark the motor straight away very smoothly kicked in and helped me with my pedaling uh, requirements one of the things that I can notice is uh, how the motor like the, how noisy is the motor and uh, I don't think that's a major thing to be honest of course uh, it's doing a lot of work and um, it's not one of the silent ones in the market but uh, yeah it's not annoying for my perspective just to show you a little bit of uh, the app that I'm using currently so the bike is using level 3 and you can see the color setting here one thing that you can do is change it with your phone it's, changing, it's also showing you the color setting or if you ch change it from year then you got the same thing internal battery what you're having speed of course I cannot show you this while I ride uh, but yeah you will have different information here how many case you have ridden this electric bike and a bunch of other things actually you have range here potentially uh, to see what the battery is somehow it's not showing me that information unfortunately one thing that I can see here which could be very useful for you know people loving to do their routes every weekend or so you can set up actually a route call it whatever you want and you just have to upload the information um yeah i would say like if you have the budget to <laughs> to buy one of these beauties um i think we're talking about around ten thousand australian dollars um yeah um, and you're a road bike lover and want to jump into the uh, e-bike side of things this is a good chance for you to test out a good electric bike coming from a renowned brand as well and yeah I definitely recommend seeing it for yourself test it out see how you feel and maybe visiting the bike shop where I source it or maybe finding somewhere else near your area if this is too difficult for you to access thanks for watching <laughs>